Well, today we are getting our first gauge on how Kansas City businesses, large and small, are being impacted by the coronavirus. A survey by the Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce and uh, other groups found that one out of four businesses are reducing their workforce temporarily or permanently. That is a lot of workers and a lot of lives being disrupted. Abigail James is live tonight in Liberty with a closer look at the challenges that so many businesses are facing. Abigail? Yeah, Brad, you know, just walking through this downtown area down here in downtown Liberty, um, it really proves the dramatic impact that COVID-19 is having on area businesses. Of the 30 or so that we counted, only four appear to be open. We set out today to see how businesses are coping and what help looks like. If we get to go back to work, we will have a job. So that feels this much like hope, but we don't know when that will be. Michelle Russo and Sarah Rojas are the owners of Salon de Bella in Liberty, Missouri. As thoughts sweep across their minds over how they'll keep their business, their major concern rests in their stylists who work independently behind the chairs. What will the salon look like after this is over? Will they find other careers? Will they come back to doing hair? Will they be able to work here full time? Do they retire? You know, <laughs> we have no idea. We're, we're very concerned about their financial well-being as well. Yeah because a lot of these girls, this is their sole income. And they don't have savings, maybe. Of the nearly 350 businesses who responded to a Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce survey, more than half expect to struggle financially. And when you look even closer at those businesses that employ 50 people or fewer, 70% of them are saying that they are expected to or are struggling financially through the crisis. Reardon feels the results of the survey prove further why Congress will have to provide more stimulus, particularly for small business. We need to continue to advocate with our congressional delegation that the needs are real for businesses and employees here in Kansas City. More than half of all small to medium sized businesses surveyed said they would be interested in a low interest rate SBA loan. For businesses with independent contractors like Rojas and Russo, they say it's a struggle to find help. I mean, we don't make money unless we're actually physically doing hair. So it's just very, um, it's very scary. Now, money worries aside, the survey found that for companies large and small, their employees' health and well-being was their topmost concern. Reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, thank you, Abigail.